A lot of attention today on the process of counting Georgia's ballots. Caitlin Ross digging deeper into that, and she has this for us. They're working as fast as they can, but counting these mail-in ballots is a process. They each have to be opened, scanned into a machine, and checked for legal requirements before they're counted. It's not like when you vote in person and your machine just scans the vote. If there are any red flags at all, that ballot has to be reviewed again. All of that takes extra time. And the sheer number of absentee ballots they're counting is unprecedented. But political experts say local election offices and the whole country should have predicted this huge absentee vote because of the COVID-19 pandemic. They had several months to prepare for these potential slowdowns. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people are, are left to blame about this. I know in Georgia we had some brand new machines, a brand new system, and the in-person voting seemed to work relatively well. But what no one seemed to plan appropriately and adequately for was the avalanche of mail-in ballots and the fact that those are going to take longer to process. Uh, again, I think that should have been done well in advance of Election Day. So what comes next? Analyst Paige Pate predicts that these absentee ballots will be the subject of legal challenges. How that could all go down, coming up at 5.